Hey guys, time management is among the most important skills a student needs to learn as they're going through school. I found that as soon as I was able to manage my time correctly, I was super efficient and successful in my studies. So I just kind of wanted to share a bunch of different ways that you can manage your time and prioritize your tasks and hopefully do really, really well this next school year. Of course, the most obvious way to manage your time as a student is to use a traditional like paper planner. I use my Hobonichi cousin, you guys have seen this planner over and over again in my videos. If you want to know specifically how I use this planner, I talked about it in my planner setup video, but I found that this system worked the best for me to manage my time because I can write in my homework and assignments during the day at school when I bring this in my backpack, and I can also plan for the future in the monthly spreads and the weekly spreads, so I found that that system worked really, really well for me. And as you guys know, there are a ton of different types of planners that you can get out there. I've talked about that in my um, my how to start a planner video. Um, I also have a personal planner that I use for YouTube and social media things. And if planners aren't really your thing, there are tons of other options. You can get little check box um, notepads like these ones I have from Bloom Daily Planners. There are different ones that will structure out your day in different ways. So really deciding what you need to keep track of is going to help you decide what kind of planner you would use if you want to go the paper route. And if you don't necessarily want a structured planner, you could always try bullet journaling. That's one of the first things that I started doing as soon as I stopped using my school provided planner. And the bullet journal, I have done tons and tons of videos on. I'll link a place list of videos up above if you guys want to know more about how to start one or what exactly it is. But it's a very, very flexible planning system that you can really adapt to what you personally need. So that's also a really good option to manage your time, prioritize your tasks, and really decide on what needs to get done. If you want something free, you can also find a ton of printables online, like on Tumblr and stuff like that, to manage your time on paper. But if paper isn't your thing and you'd rather be on your laptop or you bring your laptop to class, there are a ton of different ways you can manage your time using free things you can find on your computer. Like there's this Google Chrome extension called Momentum. So many people love this extension, especially on Tumblr, but it's basically a new tab screen that really tries to keep you on task and focused every time you open a new tab. You write out your um, main focus for each day and there's also a little section in the corner that you can add in like a little to-do list and you can reorder tasks to prioritize and I think it's just so pretty, very convenient. And something else that I found is this Google Chrome extension called Todoist and it's this pop-out sidebar that I think is super, super convenient and it's actually a little bit more detailed and in-depth than Momentum is because you can add in tasks, you can schedule them for a specific time to remind you, you can schedule it for a day, you can schedule it to reoccur every week, and you can also categorize them into different places like personal, errands, work, etc. And you can sort them all by the day that they're due and into your inbox, and I think that this extension is super helpful, especially if you just want something that's going alongside your normal browsing. So once you've gotten home and you have all of your tasks, assignments, and deadlines written down either in your planner or online, then a really good way to manage your time while you're studying at home is to really try to utilize apps on your phone if you can. There are similar ones online if you'd prefer to use your laptop, but the one that I use the most is an app called Forest. And many people have heard me talk about this before. It's basically an app that keeps you off your phone. You set a timer for the amount of time you'd like to study for. And basically you're not allowed to quit the app because if you do, it kills the little tree that grows during that timer. So it's kind of an incentive to stop checking your text messages and checking social media while you're trying to study. And in addition, there's another app that um, is a Pomodoro timer. And basically you set a certain time 
time that you want to study for, a certain time for breaks, and it'll keep running through your study time and then breaks. So I think that's just an awesome way to structure your time, especially if you have a couple of hours worth of work. That really helps you keep fresh as you're breaking often between like chunks of time. So I think those two apps are really what keep me going, especially if I have a lot of homework, and that's really how I try to structure my time after I get home from a long day of like rehearsal and school and all sorts of things. So both of those apps are awesome for actually managing your time as you're doing the work that you said you were going to do. If you're someone who doesn't really use a laptop or a computer very often, but you do have your phone on you almost all of the time, then you might wanna work on managing your time using your phone if like planners aren't your thing. So I would definitely recommend going through and actually starting to use like the calendar app that is provided in your phone. It's completely free and it's really easy to add in events. You can schedule the time, you can schedule a location, add in all sorts of details that are really useful. And there's also an app that I am a huge fan of. It's called Clear. And it's a very, very simple and straightforward app that basically just holds a bunch of lists. And I like that the fact that I can quickly just add in tasks and things to lists as much and as often as I need to. And in addition, I can quickly just add a little time that will remind me directly on my phone when I need to do something. So I think that is super useful. You can quickly drag things up and down to prioritize. And it's something that I use like the night before if I've like forgotten to add a couple things into my planner. I'll quickly type them out on clear before I go to sleep. And that's the first thing I'll check in the morning to make sure I don't forget anything. And in addition, you can also use the Reminders app on your phone that's completely free, comes with the phone, and functions very similarly to Clear. So those are also a couple of ways you can manage your time by actually getting reminders on your electronic devices when you need to start certain things. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my YouTube channel because I post videos every Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. You can add me on Snapchat and follow me on my Instagram and Tumblr account. Bye, guys!